Hey guys, how's it going? Today let's play a game of Crystal Caves HD. And yes, this game actually came out this year. And uh, I'm just as surprised as anyone, right? Because Crystal Caves is not a very well-known game. It came out originally for DOS, right? Back in uh, 1991. And I remember playing this game because it was available in a whole bunch of shareware CDs along with other Apogee games. And um, yeah, it's not my favorite Apogee game, but it's definitely unique and it has its charm which is why I think a lot of people still like it. So apparently, there was a huge fan of Crystal Caves, apparently, right? Just hard to believe because, you know, DOS games wasn't, they weren't played as much as like console games were, right? Because, you know, a lot of people have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis back then. I don't know many people who play DOS games other than me, right? I know they were like, a, you know, there were obviously other people, but there wasn't, it wasn't as much as like console players, right? So like, Milo, who is the main character in this game, isn't as popular as, as like a Sonic or Mario or anything like that. It's not even close, right? Even Commander Keen, Jazz Jackrabbit, those are big, pretty big characters in uh, DOS games. They're definitely not as popular as Sonic or Mario. So anyways, DOS games were a niche, so I'm surprised that this game got a HD remaster. Actually, it's a remake because, um, yeah, like I said, there's apparently a big Crystal Caves fan. Um, who was who they who liked the game enough loved the game enough to remake a version in unity So this version is actually done in unity and then George Bussard from Apogee actually picked it up Saw it on Twitter and decided to actually release it as an actual game. So here we go. We have crystal caves HD I never thought that this would happen, but <laughs> Here we have it and then we have a new episode as well the final frontier, which is kind of interesting I never thought in 2020 we'd get a new episode of crystal caves, but here we go um it's very easy because the original game is actually pretty difficult. Right, so, uh, whoa. Okay, he made a lot of money from burger joints, apparently. Uh, it's just a bit of the site, okay. So, that's a bigger ship than I remember him having. Okay. All the classic sounds. Uh, okay, I can raise money. Mining, okay. It kicks them off the ship, of course. And uh, here it is, Crystal Case. Wow, okay. So, what I can say is the graphics are like an updated version of the, the original pixelated graphics, right? So, but it's, a, it's done in a really nice way, and you can tell that this. It looks almost like a remaster, it's actually a remake, but it looks like a remaster because they basically upgraded all the pixelated graphics and stuff. Um, he has an idle animation now, which I don't think he had before. Uh, so it's kind of done in a way that's similar to a lot of indie games released these days. You know, a lot of indie games focus on pixelated graphics these days. So it's done in that kind of way, which is uh, really nice because, you know, you get that retro feeling, but it's not, it's not in a way that hurts your eyes, right? <laughs> it's not just, uh, you know, upscaling an old game. It's actually done pretty well. So they smooth over all the edges and stuff like that. Pretty nice. Um, movement is very fluid. Okay, you got the same controls. Control is jump, alt is fire. It's, it's exactly the same controls as uh, the original. No change there, and WASD doesn't do anything, so it's very, very old school. You use the arrow keys for movement and control and alt for uh, jumping and firing. So that's exactly the same as the DOS game, right? Because back then, there was no WASD. WASD was not common until the late 90s. We always used the arrow keys for movement. Control, Alt, and Shift were the uh, his space bar were the main um, action buttons. But yeah, this is really cool. I think the, the frame rate is like smoother too. It feels a lot smoother. So the frame rate definitely wasn't this smooth in the original Crystal Caves. Also, you kind of like, look, his arms go a little bit up when he's jumping. That's pretty cool. A lot of nice additions there. And there's background music. I don't remember there being background music in the original uh, Crystal Caves. So they added a whole bunch of nice stuff here. So let's go. Um, could we go to any of these levels? Let's see. Let's try out uh, this level. So these are all new levels. I've not tried them before. So the goal of this game is to collect uh, all the crystals. And then once you collect all the crystals, the door will open. Okay, so yeah. Oh, okay. So apparently there's a this poison mushroom. I forgot about that. Okay, so you don't touch this mushroom. It's poison. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I remember. It's been a while since I played. Whoa. 
Okay. Oh, good. This is a uh, old school man. <laughs> so even on easy difficulty, it still tries to trick you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. I think I did a, a video on this like maybe five years ago. But it, whoa. Okay, I'm glad I missed that. Okay, I can't kill that apparently. I don't think I can kill this. Nope. Uh, okay. Okay, toggle that. Yep, slowly remembering it. So, um, Crystal Caves and... There is one spiritual successor, not a direct successor, but the spiritual successor is Secret Agent that came out one year later. It uses the exact same engine, so it looks kind of similar. Um, so I'm wondering, they didn't do a HD remaster of Secret Agent, but they did one for Crystal Caves, which is interesting. Uh, both of these games use the exact same engine, but it has its charms, right? Um, the charming part about it, I guess, is that it looks kind of like a puzzle game, and the main character is very small, right? So the main protagonist, he's, uh, you can tell, you can tell he's, he's tiny, it's a platformer. It's a platformer, but it looks kind of like a puzzle game. And uh, the main character is very small, and uh, I think that's his charm, right? It's got a unique design charm element to that. So, I think I open these boxes now, yeah, there, I got the key. So I, I guess that's why Crystal Caves and Secret Agents still have a lot of fans, because, yeah, the, the unique design style, right? The fact that it's, it's like a, a puzzle game, but you got a really small protagonist, it's kind of interesting. That. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. Uh, you gotta be careful, cause um, I think there's a lot of ways you can die in this game. It is an old school game, so that means it's kind of tricky. There we go. Oh, activate the door. All right. Yeah, I, I got this. I got this. I remember how to play. Oh, there's snakes down there. Disappear platform. Oh, shit. Alright, now I can go to the exit once you collect all the crystals and then you finish that level. Okay, let's try a few other levels. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, now these, uh, these are round crystals, I guess. They're not... They're not diamond-shaped. They're round crystals. Oh, these things... Things move in irregular patterns. Oh shoot! So if you hit the air compressor, you uh you die. So if you not hit the air compressor, <laughs> if you hit the air compressor, you will blow up. Uh, oh, I can't do anything here. I think. Nope. I got it. A lot of stuff going. Oh shoot! These guys move too. Oh no, they. I can't kill them. Wormhole. Oh shoot! Okay, that's not one hit death. <laughs> Instant death. Okay, let's try uh, another level. I'm just gonna try out a few of these. See what new levels they added. So yeah, I'm really interested to uh, understand. Like, someone apparently made this crystal case. Was a huge fan enough. To make a Unity port of this game, but um, not for Secret Agent, which I actually think I actually like Secret Agent maybe a little bit better. So it's interesting they didn't do Secret Agent, and there's a lot of great Apogee games actually they could have done. So um, a few of my really favorite Apogee games, like I said, Crystal Caves is good. It's not my favorite Apogee games. Um, Monster Bash is a really good one. Uh, Bio Menace, I also like that one. Duke Nukem One, Duke Nukem Two, obviously. I think you gotta. Hit this guy when his his uh, eyes open or whatever. Yeah, there we go. Oh shoot! Hit from the side. Yeah, Duke Nukem One, Duke Nukem Two, Hocus Pocus, uh, Cosmos, Cosmic Adventure is another one. Uh, Blake Stone is probably my favorite Apogee game. So Blake Stone, uh, Rise of the Triad. Wait, they actually did a remake of Rise of the Triad though. Shadow Warrior, I think they did a remake of Shadow Warrior as well. So I can't complain about those ones. Duke Nukem 3D, obviously they did many versions of that. But it's the ones, the obscure RPG games I'm a little bit more interested in, right? Pharaoh's Tomb, right? That one was really hard. 
So, this game is actually hard. Um, when I was a kid, you know when you're a kid, you actually have a lot of time to play these games, so you get better at them. <laughs> but now they seem very difficult, right? But yeah, uh, Crystal Cave is pretty hard, Secret Agent. Um, yeah, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's Tomb was really hard. I remember, like, dying a lot on that game. That was a really early game that came out. It goes faster. Oh shoot, he takes a lot of hits. There you go. Yeah, Pharaoh's Tomb, Pagantazoo, or I think that's what it's called. Oh shit, stupid bird lays some poop. Alright, nice. Um, yeah, Blakestone is definitely my favorite out of those ones. Catacomb Abyss, right, from id Software. That one is really forgotten, and really, I really like that game too. So yeah, Catacomb Abyss, Commander Keen, right? I think they did a lot of versions of Keen Dreams, I think. Oh shoot. Okay, well, I, I already got all the crystals in this level anyways, so... Interesting. Oh shoot. I think they have a rumble support in this game, which is interesting. So they might be making this game for consoles, I guess, maybe? <laughs> imagine playing this on the Nintendo Switch. I can't imagine playing Crystal Caves on the Nintendo Switch. Wow, that would be something. But yeah, a lot of good Apogee games. Hocus Pocus, like I said, Monster Bash, Bioman is probably some of my favorites. Cosmos, Cosmic Adventure. Um, Corridor 7, anyone remember that game? That was also pretty... I'm not sure if that was Apogee though. It was also an interesting uh, first person shooter game. Oh, these guys pop out. Oh, shoot. I don't think you can even kill them. No, you definitely can't kill them or anything. Yeah. Also, I wish Epic Games would uh, pay more attention to their old games. So Epic, the thing about Epic is they only pay attention to Fortnite now and um, their Unreal Engine. It's not even like Unreal Tournament, right? Oh, this is like Freeze... What is this? I'm Invincible? Okay, I guess I'm invincible now. Can't get hurt for like... Yeah, I can't get hurt for like a few seconds because of that. Okay, that's an interesting mushroom. It's like Mario's invincible mushroom, basically. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Epic just focuses on Unreal Engine and, chat and um, Fortnite now. Well, they should be focusing a lot more on the older titles. I think, just like Apogee does. So it seems like Apogee actually respects their older titles, but not Epic Games. So Epic Games has a really good repertoire of old games. So they have uh, Jill the Jungle, Exargon. Oh, these guys leave behind a carcass, so you gotta be careful not to step on it. Yeah, Jill the Jungle, Exargon, Jazz Jackrabbit, obviously. I love Jazz Jackrabbit. The second one was really good. I don't know why they never made a sequel to that. Your pistol can kill an enemy for a limited time. Okay. Any enemy, okay. So it's like a super powered pistol or whatever. Whoa, it's like a fireball. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Forgot that was the air compressor. Okay. Yeah, I love Jazz Jack a bit. Um, Epic has a lot, of, a lot of really good games. I wish they would bring back. Uh, Killer Blaster, that's another one. That was also a pretty interesting game. Oh, okay. This guy's on that. Oh, these guys leave behind a carcass, too. Yeah. Maybe someday, right? <laughs> someday, someone at Apogee might notice. I don't know. Tim, uh, Tim Sweeney, that's the guy who uh, founded Epic Games. But pretty much, I don't think they will, because they, they're making too much money from uh, Fortnite. Too much money from Fortnite, Unreal Engine. Even Unreal Tournament is kind of neglected, right? Like, Unreal Tournament 3, which is like the very last version of Unreal Tournament, was all the way back in 2007. And I know they made like an alpha version of Unreal Tournament using Unreal Engine 4, but... They haven't really done much with that version of Unreal Tournament yet. They haven't added many of the features that Unreal Tournament 3 had. So, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed about that. Oh, oh stupid poison mushroom. Alright, try a different level. Let's try the other side. See what other new levels on the other side. Oh, is 
an interesting one. Low gravity? So does that mean I can jump higher or not? Oh no, it pushes me back. Okay. It kind of like pushes me back. Interesting. So there's like a recoil from my gun because of the low gravity. So this game has some pretty interesting mechanics, I think. <laughs> some pretty interesting mechanics. What the? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it pushes me back with my gun though. Oh, okay. Danger signs. I want to see, um, I think someone actually speed ran Secret Agent and Crystal Caves before, but it'd be nice to see someone speed ran this HD remaster, would be cool. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, what a... Yeah, because, uh... A lot of the old Aperture games are pretty difficult, so it's nice to see like someone speedrunning them. platform to get those diamonds. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try this one. Oh, this one's interesting. So there's a reverse gravity one too. So there, there's a few different interesting mechanics in this game, which are, are nice. This one is uh, reverse gravity. <laughs> This one puts me back to normal gravity for like a limited amount of time, I think. Which you need because um, I think the only way to get up here would be... Oh yeah, now we get the reverse gravity. Okay. So you gotta do this really fast, you know, otherwise you won't be able to get the gravity reset in time. Another game um, I've been, I should probably do a video on is uh, Jetpack. Jetpack is actually a really cool game because uh, it has its own level editor. Oh, yeah, and I remember making a lot of levels in Jetpack when I was a kid. So that's actually a really cool game. I remember making a lot of custom levels in that game. And I think this crystal, this version of Crystal Caves actually comes with a level editor as well. So it gives you the ability to make your own levels, which is kind of cool.
Dinosaur? I didn't know there was a dinosaur in the crystal cave. So there's like a red dinosaur over there. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh man. Gotta be very precise. Oh, uh, do I gotta, I gotta go back? Okay. This lava is like a one hit kill, so I don't wanna jump down there. Yeah, that door is the one that's opened. Wait, how do I even get up there? Okay, I think maybe I gotta go back here. For this jump? Okay. Yeah, that's sneaky. So this... Oh, this dinosaur fire stuff. <laughs> Stupid dinosaur. Alright, awesome. What did I even toggle? Yeah, all right. All right, guys, so uh, that is Crystal Cave's HD remaster. And um, yeah, uh, if you guys, obviously, if you're a fan of Crystal Cave's, any old school Apogee games, then you'll like this game because everything's just been made better, right? Frame rate is smoother, graphics have been updated, less pixelated. Well, it's, it's still pixelated, but it's like a, an HD version of pixelated, I guess, if that makes sense. A lot of indie games use it. Uh, soundtrack, right? And uh, the gameplay, I think, yeah, they kept the same gameplay, uh, but they, I guess it, it seems smoother, right, to me, because of the, um, the added adjustments. So yeah, definitely if you're a fan of Crystal Caves and Apogee games and old DOS shareware games, then pick this one up. It's on Steam right now. So yeah, Crystal Caves HD Remaster. Never thought this game would come out, but here it is. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.